What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Interstellar Perspective, formerly known, but still kind of known as Pretty and Cold Bro Conspiracy Row. So, I'm going to jump right into it. And y'all, y'all know I had to come on here and talk about y'all creepy Uncle Drake, because let's not act like Drake not turning 37 years old this year. Like... Drake is really kind of starting to annoy me. He was already being, you know, propped up. He was already some sort of a culture vulture. He already was adding on to the, um, to the, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like what they're trying to change hip hop into. You know, he was leading the, the change of hip hop the face of what hip-hop should look like, what hip-hop should act like, what hip-hop should sound like. You know, he was already changing it up. And some people might feel like that's a good thing, but he's literally leading um, our culture. He's he's taking our culture backwards, <laughs> like literally. He's, he, he's able to do it with one video, with one album, with one tweet. And it's just so sad. Like, to see Drake at his big age walking around here with these barrettes on and he's... Like, I get it. Like, he's a... He's a entertainer. And he has to be performative. But, okay, let's be real. Like, allegedly, let's not act like we haven't heard about Drake. Like, you know, dealing with all these... Young, okay, listen. This is how I'm going to put it. It's straight. Straight up and down. This is how I'm about to put it. Look, Drake gives me, he give me by okay. So you, let me talk to the women real quick. So ladies, y'all know when y'all was in high school and there was always that older nigga who used to hang around the high school. Like he ain't go there no more, but he used to go there and he wasn't necessarily popular. He was just known for being older. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like at this point, he might even have a car or. A, a bag or something and so to somebody in high school like he may even look like he got something going on but to anybody in a you know of age it's like what's this grown ass nigga doing hanging around these young ass kids like I remember when I was younger and when you when you in it when you that age when you in high school like and i'm not saying that drake is r kelly y'all i'm definitely not saying that i just feel like i feel like first of all he's trying to hold on to this youth and it comes off a little creepy when when you going so hard when you going so hard about it like it's like that old nigga in the club you know what i'm saying who got on the, the matching shirt with the matching hat and the matching pants and the matching shoes and he just think he doing it you get what i'm saying but the times have kind of passed him but like to him he's still doing it you get what i'm saying he might even have on some brand new jays and he the oldest nigga in the club but at this point like it's now his scene like that's like that's how drake make me feel like it's kind of cringy like okay i didn't even listen to the album so let, let's be clear i didn't listen to the album i'm just going off the visuals and um the conversation that joe budden and him had and i feel like all i saw at first was drake response i didn't even know what joe budden had said at first but drake had responded so femininely i would decide to go see what joe button said because i'm like why is drake being so sassy so joe button was absolutely right he said he need to grow up he like you running around here with all these young ass rappers you know doing all these gimmicks putting barrettes in your head doing all this shit for attention like you have to when you really don't even have to like what's up like grow up make some grown men music for for me and your age, go hang with some rappers your age, like, or older than you, someone who can pour into you, like, you want to be the oldest nigga in the club, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, like, Drake want to be that nigga, that grown ass nigga who still hang out at the high school, and, and taking all the little niggas bitches because he got a car and they don't got a car yet, but you, you pulling up to the football field and to the practices and to the games and shit, and, um, taking all the young niggas bitches 
Like, I don't know. Like, Drake, he just... And then on top of that, he polishing his nails and he doing all of this. He trying all this stuff to see where it lands. I don't know if it's a humiliation ritual with him or if he just try to, you know, they get, I'm sure they get paid every time they trend or go viral or something. So maybe every so often they got to pop up in the media. Like just like, what was the guy named um, Jimmy Butler? Like how he did, like with Jimmy Butler, like would you consider that like him? him um clowning when he came into the press room with you know his blowout and his piercings or whatnot and he said that he was going through an emo stage and getting in touch with his feelings or like would you consider or would you take that serious like i mean being that he a basketball player it kind of throw me off guard but with drake you know with drake being the entertainer i guess they can jump into those different bags without necessarily being judged no i'm not gonna say they can but they try you know they got to do something a little gimmicky every now and then um like they say it's no such thing as bad press <laughs> or you know as long as somebody talking about you or they got you in the blocks they could be in the blocks for way worse like drake could be in the blocks for way worse than having his nails polished and he probably gonna get more attention for doing that than a nigga who shot somebody or went to jail or you know all the other shit that niggas do and accidentally end up on the blog but that's my take on drake drake if you listen to aubrey grow the fuck up okay it's partly your motherfucking fault why these niggas ain't growing the fuck why they not maturing it and carrying on how the fuck they need to be you need to set an example for these men because drake let's face it drake you've been out since what it's been about 15 16 years so the niggas who you was rapping with and rapping to if it was niggas because it was probably a lot of women but the your audience has matured you have not matured with your audience and yeah doing all that gimmicky stuff you can kind of you can kind of draw in a new younger audience but it just it it just makes you look a little pressed you get what i'm saying it just makes you look a little cringy and you know it make it kind of seems like you're not happy with um life to say the least so that's my take on that y'all let me know how y'all feel drop down in the comments don't forget to like the video join the conversation tag me in it you know how y'all feel about drake and his barrette